Hey guys, so I'm gonna be responding to Kathleen's video. You may have to go and watch hers in order for mine to make sense. So I agree with her on almost every point. By the way, um, I just watched it, so I'm responding to it right away. That's why the lighting is not that great, but in the video, it talks about being more raw. So this is me being more raw with y'all. Um, I just finished getting ready, so I do have a full face of makeup on, which this that's what when I watch her is when I getting ready. Um, that's when I watch most of YouTube. But she talked about how, you know, you follow these influencers, right, on social media and they look perfect and they have quote unquote perfect lives. And she believes that people should show their struggles more online. And I understand where she's coming from, but it's it's very difficult. Like for me personally, I don't even share my struggles with close people around me. Very rarely would I do so. And that's something I'm working on. I should be able to open up to people close to me. Um, so that's not something I'm ready to do right now on social media, unfortunately. Um, but I saw a quote under Kathleen's light video and I think everyone should keep this in mind when they are online looking at people that, you know, you know, when you look at them, it lowers your self-esteem. You should remember this quote. It says, we compare our behind the scenes to someone else's highlights. And that's so true. Now, is it a bad thing to go on social media and share your highlights? I'm not sure. It's a fine line. Social media is such a fine line. And... If you can just remember this quote when you're looking at people, then I think it will help a lot. Just remember that social media is going to show just someone's highlight. You know, it would be really weird to like go online and say, hey, I cried till three in the morning, you know, and I've seen people do that. And guess what they get on the comments? It's, you know, they are baiting for attention or they want sympathy. So it's not... I don't know like I see what she's saying but it's also hard to do that as well you know I think we need to change our mindset you know don't follow people that don't make you feel good about yourself you know if it's lowering your self-esteem unfollow them you know and this is a lot easier said than done like like for me I don't follow people I naturally can't achieve their body right and like Kathleen said, this is not to shame anyone that has had plastic surgery or, you know, different improvements on their body. I'm just speaking from, I wouldn't be able to get that body without plastic surgery. And I look at people more for um, inspiration with bodies that I can achieve. You know, I would like to work out and eat right and improve myself. And so those are the people I follow. So I think that's just something we should keep in mind. So yeah, that's really all I have to say. Um, like Kathleen said, I want to keep this conversation open. So feel free to have a conversation in the comments. What do y'all think? I don't really know. It's, it's, it's a complicated subject. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Sorry, this is such a random video. Ra like random timing. I haven't been active here. So I did want to comment on it. it so, yeah. Okay. Bye, guys.